Good afternoon. Today, I made two vital calls, as I've been making for some months now. Two vital calls that uh, the overwhelming message of both on both calls I shared with all of those on the calls. Well, look, defies, defies basic logic without any evidence. That's just what I'm sure Ukraine's thinking of doing, attacking Russia. They refuse to allow, you know, look, we have reason to believe the Russian forces are planning to uh, and intend to attack Ukraine in the coming week, in the coming days. Make no mistake, we also will not send troops in to fight in Ukraine, but we will continue to support the Ukrainian people. This past year, the United States provided a record amount of security assistance to Ukraine, $650 million. We also previously provided $500 million. And earlier this week, we also announced an additional sovereign loan guarantee of up to $1 billion to strengthen Ukraine's economic resilience. But the bottom line is this. The United States and our allies and partners will support the Ukrainian people. But if Russia takes military action, we'll be clear that they have slammed the door shut on diplomacy. They will have, they will have chosen a war. You know, Russia has a choice between war and all the suffering it will bring or diplomacy. Now, I'm happy to take a few questions. Uh, Nancy from Bloomberg. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Do you think that it is wise for President Zelensky to leave Ukraine if an invasion is as imminent as the U.S. says it is? That's a judgment for him to make and a determination as to whether or not I've spoken with Zelensky a dozen times, maybe more. I don't know. And uh, and uh, it's uh, in, in, in the pursuit of a, di a diplomatic solution. Uh, it may not be fall. It may, may be the wise choice. And do you have any indication about whether President Putin has made a decision on whether to invade? Do you feel confident that he that he hasn't made that decision already? As of this moment, I'm convinced he's made the decision. We have reason to believe that. There seems to be a unanimity of spirit to do between the United States and Europe to do some sanctions, the comprehensive sanctions. But are, is everyone on board with the exact same sanctions that you want to do? Uh, yes. Um, there will be some slight differences, but none. There will be more add-ons than subtractions. And President Putin is going to oversee some nuclear drills this weekend. How do you see that happening? What, what's your reaction to that, sir? Thank you. Well, um, I don't think he is remotely contemplating nuclear, using nuclear weapons. But I do think it's, uh, I think he is, um, focused on trying to convince the world that he has uh, the ability to change the dynamics uh, in Europe in a way that he cannot. Um, but I, I don't, uh, how much of it is a, uh, a cover for just saying we're just doing exercises and, and there's more than that. I, I just can't, it's hard to read his mind. Mr. You are convinced that President Putin is going to invade Ukraine. Is that what you just said a few moments yes, ago? Yes, I did. Yes. So is diplomacy off the table then? No. There's all, until he does, diplomacy is always a possibility. What reason do you have to believe he's considering that option at all? We have a significant intelligence capability. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, guys. Thank you.